Greetings ladies and gentlefish, here is a quick little replay uh, in the American Tier 2 Premium Tank, the T-186. Now this was a New Year's gift for 2013 if memory serves, uh, and I kept it. And the reason I'm showing you this replay is not because it's particularly amazing, it's alright, but nothing uh, spellbinding, but here we go, sorry, just switched to a fixed camera. But it's an example of an autoloader. Uh, now you can see here um, that we have a clip of five shots, which took comparatively long to load. Everything's relative. The reload times at tier two aren't particularly high. Um, it took comparatively long to load, and you'll see that we're able to uh, unload that clip of five shots very quickly. So I'm thinking about going down this left-hand side start off with and then you know think better of it. Um, the T-26 in common with a lot of autoloaders is very very fragile. No armour and not a great health pool um, means that you really don't want to be shot in this thing. You can also see there's a lot of reticule blooming as this machine moves so we take a s stop here. Now auto uh, th this gun is a tier 1 gun and it is not good at range so that is a very lucky shot to go in. And you can see that my gun reloaded very quickly, and there you can see we're going to reload the clip, sorry. Done. Um, in replays it doesn't seem to show the reload time, which is kind of irritating, but there we go. Uh, you can see that the gun reloaded very quickly um, for the next shot within the clip, but it took longer to aim, and that's a characteristic common to... Well, that's a characteristic of this autoloader, and it, you do see it in a, a number of different autoloading tanks. So if you're point blank range, you can just unload into someone, but if your range is any greater, you do have to be a little bit careful. So here you can see, for instance, we just put in one shot, aim two, three, in very quick succession, we take him out. Two shots left in the magazine, in the clip, and what you'll often find with autoloaders is you're having that decision, do I reload, do I not? Now in this case, the reload time for the clip is comparatively quick, so I just reloaded it. That's uh, another kill, and then pummel shots into that uh, Jagdpanzer, putting him off 32 health, and we go for another reload. And you can see that you're able to dish out a lot of damage very quickly, and he gets a shot into me, and I kill him. And suddenly we're on three kills, we're 13-2 up, the game's basically over. And you can see the strengths uh, of an autoloader, you can pump out a lot of damage very quickly within that clip. The main weakness, of course, being that you're very vulnerable when you have that clip reload, and that will become more apparent in higher tier games. And as I say, this is only a tier 2 machine, I just wanted to show you the sort of thing you can expect from an autoloader. Um, now this tank is, if anyone's interested in it, it when it was uh, give, gifted to people it wasn't a particularly popular machine, because it's not that easy to play. Um, and so a lot of people sold it. So it's not that much of a common sight on the battlefield. You can see there are actually two on our team. Um, but if you are interested in it, uh, it does occasionally go on sale, but it's part of a gift package, and often you have to pay the best part of 50 pounds, euros, dollars, whatever your currency is, uh, in order to acquire it. And whoops, dirt moment, that's the edge of the map. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, and I really don't think it's worth the money. You get other stuff with it, but you know, eh. we're about to cap to win, and there we go, we win. Not a bad little game. Uh, and as I say, just trying to show you the sort of thing you can expect from an autoloader. At some point, I will have autoloader games that are at higher tiers. Uh, I have the uh, AMX 12T Tier 6 French Light Tank. Uh, so I'll show you some gameplay from that at some point when I get around to really playing it much. I don't think I've only played one game or something in it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and or catch some of my other videos. And I wish you happy hunting on the battlefield. Ciao, ciao.